Okay, I want to uh, begin by saying thanks for purchasing one of my <clears throat> mini float kits. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I think is probably the easiest way of doing it. Um, if you look on the back of your card, you'll uh, see that we have these parts labeled. <clears throat> and we're going to start with the fuselage. So it's part F1. Um, part F2 goes to the outsides and so we're just gonna take and try and align them a little bit and slip the wing into this top groove making sure all of these fuselage parts are pressed all the way forward up against that wing and we're going to go to um, the nose cone and part N1 will clamp in here. Part N2 is going to go in the center section. It holds the propeller, the little pointed piece. And N1 again is the same as the one on the bottom. And that slides in nice and easy. Um, okay, so let's go to the tail section, and it's up to you whether you put the uh, engraving up or down, um, because we have the engraving on the, let's take and flip that over. So I'm holding the, the fuselage, pinching it so that it should just come right off and go right back on. So there we have Alaska showing, and here we're going to align and press that all the way up. So if you find yourself ever in a situation where it's really tight, you need to um, attempt to align all these pieces, okay? If that's not working, um, get yourself some sandpaper. I got a little sanding block right here, and at the same time, I'm going to clean that part by taking off the smoky stuff. You can, uh, smoke marks, I guess you call them. But just a little bit that thins that piece out slightly. And see if it'll go on any easier. And there it is. Just press that forward, and we're in good shape. Okay, so from there, we're going to just set that to the side for a second and um, go to the float and here's what we're trying to build and um, so there's really six pieces to the the whole thing and we're going to start with um, P1 has just the single hole P2 has the two squares in it and P3 will have the two notches in there. And looking at it, it's got to be opposite of each other. Um, so our um, notches on part P3 are both to the inside is what we're, what we're looking at here. So before you put P3 in there, we've got to set P2 in and then P3 is going to come in and hold it in place. Okay, and we're going to just kind of sort of align everything. And sometimes the easiest way to uh, get things aligned is take a piece of scrap and align those notches okay and we're going to slip on i want to say this is part number p4 and making sure everything's aligned real well we're going to press that in and i don't know if you can see that hole on the bottom of p1 but i'm going to just slide that to the side yeah, I think you can see it there. We're trying to hit that notch 
with P4 has a little catch to it so and here we got uh, part P5 it's gonna go on and pressing P4 and P5 together that's gonna hold it leaving a little bit of wiggle on that part and that's okay don't get too rough with it it is a thin little piece of wood all right so we're gonna grab our uh, piece which is labeled S for the strut and we're gonna slide that in and grab that first notch we're gonna do the same thing over here trying to catch that notch it's in the uh, back of that part and it goes on there so we have that and it's also made to rock just a little bit so that's <clears throat> what you're trying to hit there um, there's a couple ways of doing this I believe turning your fuselage upside down is the easiest way and now we can set these in and I'm aligning my float assembly into the uh, receiving notches of parts F2. So as I do that, I'm pressing those in. Also, <clears throat> you gotta uh, slip your part S, the strut up to hit that receiving hole and same over here you might have to adjust that wing just a little bit to where it will fall inside of those receiving holes at this point we're almost done and the floats will rotate just a little bit okay this one's been put together a few times so things are kind of loose if it's uh, too awful loose gonna flop around like we got here but uh, with a push up in there pushing that part s up into place you'll have it and the last step is really just uh, clipping your propeller onto your part n2 and there you have it a couple drops of glue um, in different places and should hang on so I want to say thanks for following along and um, you can find more of my puzzles on my Facebook page. That's Great Alaska Wood Kits. Thanks.